This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this Kdn Live video, we will be showing you how to change the time line track size and why you might need to. As you can see, I'm using version 18.8.2 of Kdn Live. Open Kdn Live, go to Settings, scroll down to Configure Kdn Live, scroll down to Timeline, and click. Notice in the Kdn Live Timeline Configuration window, the box labeled Track Height. In order to adjust the track size, click the arrow up or down. In my case, at this point, I can only adjust upward. Once an adjustment is made, click Apply. And take notice of the timeline. As you should see, the change in the Kdn Live timeline track size as you click Apply. Once you are done making your Kdn Live timeline track adjustments, click OK, then add a video to see how the new size fits for your editing needs. If the size is still too small or too big, after placing your video on the timeline, go back to settings and bring the configuration window back up in order to make further adjustments. So, why would you need to do this? Well, I had noticed somewhere in version 16 or 17 of Kdn Live, my track size had a minor adjustment change. At the time, it was not a problem, so I ignored it. Also, at this time, I noticed the two fu function buttons that had appeared and took notice they make the Kdn Live timeline track larger or smaller. But as of late, it seemed as if something else had changed and I thought maybe I had inadvertently changed a setting of Kdn Live. So I decided to reset Kdn Live back to its default settings and when I did, it dropped the Kdn Live timeline size to 10, what some would consider unusable for editing. There are two parts to any video editing process, one being video and the other audio. The video editing is usually handled through the monitor, but audio by viewing the timeline. Although there are other zoom features for the timeline, the so-called default setting of 10 for the Kdn Live timeline with full zoom is not enough for editing. So being I had another system with Kdn Live that I had recently installed, I decided to take a look at what the timeline track size was on that system. To my surprise, the track size on a recent installed Kdn Live is 65, to which one would consider the default setting. I hope you have enjoyed this Kdn Live video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to become notified of recently released videos your way. I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one 
from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.